Welcome back to UNX Fast Forward, your daily dose of everything ninja. I'm Chris DeGange. And I'm Ethan Swanson. And tomorrow, we're going to be going to our last of our four qualifiers to get into the second major. We're going to be at Warrior Jungle for the North Region to find the top three men and top three women going to that second major event. Yes, they're going to be joining us on December 14th. And like you said, this is their last chance to get in. And mm -hmm. we'll be looking at who we think are going to be the top three at the Warrior Jungle competition. It's going to be a tough one, but let's go right into it with our athlete predictions and going with my predictions first on the men's side. And with my third pick, I'm going with Hunter Gerard. I mean, electrifying athlete. He didn't make the first major, but he's so fast. And I, I know a course like this at Warrior Jungle is going to play to his strengths, that confidence, aggressiveness on the course, cutting off swings and giving himself time to relax before that last obstacle that's going to be so difficult. So I'm saying he's going to take top three in the third spot and my number two spot is going to go to Cameron Baumgartner and he is an unknown relatively unless you're really from the Chicagoland area uh, you know he hasn't been competing that long but he's so strong I trained with him and he has freakish strength and speed he has everything it takes physically to beat this course and take a top spot but it's going to come down to his mental side he's not as experienced as some of these athletes but I think this is going to be the competition that pushes him through that mental barrier and shows everyone why he's in my top three picks. And then number one spot, I'm going Jackson Twait. This is his first UNX qualifier, and I expect it's going to be a big one for him. He's such a fast athlete. He kind of came onto the scene in the obstacle course uh, community in the past year, and he's shown everybody why he's so fast, he's so good, and he's a newer athlete. And I think that's going to play to his advantage in a course like this. He's not going to be you know, caught up by second-guessing himself or anything. He's going to attack the course. He's to go fast and fluid and take that number one spot. In third place on the men's side of things, I'm going with Hunter Gerard. I think this course is so flowy. You've got the mountain climb, you've got the laches, and for a course like this, I think Hunter is going to go so fast. And with a three minute time limit, I think that speed that he trains with is definitely going to benefit him because I think he'll be more accurate and more precise than some of the other competitors, especially when you come down to the last, UFO, the last obstacle with the UFOs. Next up, second place, I'm going with Sam Folsom. If you don't know it by now, I love the way this kid competes. He attacks the course so efficient. I, I mean, he's so consistent. He's constantly in the top five, and I think he's going to take that second place spot. In first place, Kyle Soderman. Definitely one of the athletes that had a disappointing performance in the first UNX major, and I think he's going to punch his ticket back with some speed and precision, and I think he finishes this course in a blazing fast time. So Kyle Soderman, not in your top three. And don't get me wrong, I love Kyle, and I wanted to put him in my top three, but I've seen Kyle, he's so fast, and sometimes that speed makes him make little mistakes. At first major, something that those laches he should have been able to do and just missed his hands on those rings. And that worries me on a course like this that's so fast, you really can't stop and take a breath. Yeah, and we saw the course preview yesterday. That last obstacle is going to be so tricky, and if you are yeah. going too fast, you rush it. Could be over. Right, and you got Sam Folsom on your list. I love Sam Folsom. If, if you don't know it by now, I love this kid. I'm saying yeah. it publicly. The way that he competes, he attacks the course every single time. So fast, so smooth. He's always love in your it. top three. Whenever Sam's on a course, he's in your top three. But love this kid. I got to be honest, he's great, and he's qualified for the second major. He was at the first major, but he's never finished a course, a UNX course. He's always gotten to the last obstacle and fallen, and this course is fast. I think we're going to have more finishers. I don't know. I, I will just have to see how he does. He's very capable, but we haven't seen him complete a course yet. You're right. He has not completed a course yet, but at the same time, he's always in that top five. Every time he competes, he's there. He's with the top names. Like like you said, I mean, he took yeah, fourth he place down at sure. Ninja Warehouse, but, like, he's so consistent. Yeah, but we're not looking at top five. We're looking at top three. Well, you know, but we'll so see, like Cam, then, Cam Baumgartner, I got him my top three. You train with him, you know how strong he is. I train with him all the time, trains here at Ultimate Ninjas Naperville, but Cam, he does not compete like these other ninjas. He's not as consistent. He He's very strong, and training-wise, it's great, but at the same time, when he's on a course, I don't know if it's it's a mental thing, a mental block, but he doesn't strategize as well. And you're right, tra I've trained with him too, and he whoops my butt on courses too. But Every then time. When, when we compete, <laughs> he, something, something holds him back, and I'm really hoping that this is the competition that he pushes through that mental barrier because I think it is mental. Physically, 
man, the he guy knows ninja. Unbelievable physically, yeah. and when he puts it together mentally, I think he's going to be really strong, but he's just not there and yet. And that's, I think, I think this is going to be the comp. I think this is going to be the competition where he breaks through that and shows everybody, like, physically, yes, and mentally, I'm getting there, you know? Well, somebody that neither of us had that I think could break in, it's like right in the fringe was Mike Salenzi. Yeah, I know, and Mike Salenzi, I mean, he's a good friend of ours, too. Uh, Mike Salenzi is, if you have, like, a stage three style course, Mike Salenzi is one of my top picks, but this is not a stage three style course. This is a very fast course, and, and Mike, I don't know if he typically trains as fast as like Hunter Gerard, Jackson Twait, Kyle Soderman. So, you know, I'm curious to see how he reacts to this speed on this course. Because I think it is, you got to give yourself time to finish that last obstacle. you got to go fast. Yeah, I mean, it's a three-minute time limit. It's definitely going to come down to speed. And I think you're right. Stage three, he's a rock climber. I love the strength that he's got. But, yeah, I mean, on a speed course like this, I, yeah, could be could be a lot different. I but. mean, it shows how tough it is. I mean, so many athletes have different pros and cons, and this is a very specific style of course. But let's take a look at our women's predictions. Yeah, and so on the women's side, my picks – I'm going with three athletes that I know very well, all train at Ultimate Ninjas Naperville. The first, Emmy Smith. This kid is 13 years old, and she is unbelievable. Just turned 13. The way that she trains, the work that she puts in, she's constantly at the gym, constantly doing stuff at home. She wants this spot, and she's going to prove that the kids are here to compete. In second place, I'm going to go with Maggie Owen. Took fourth place at the first UNX major, and she's got a lot of points on the season, but she needs to get back to add on to that to have a good shot at the championship. And I think with her upper body strength, she's got so much endurance, that long section in the middle of the course is not going to be an issue for her. She's going to blaze right past it. And then in first place, I'm going with my fiance, a little bit biased, Jesse Lebrecht, coming off of a very, very disappointing performance from the first UNX major. I know that she wanted more, and she's been putting in the work. I think she comes into Warrior Jungle, takes that first place spot, and has some really good momentum going into the major. And for my picks on the women's side, I'm going number three to Brittany Holterman. Uh, you know, I'm going with experience here. She's an experienced athlete. She's been competing in obstacle courses for a long time. And especially as a taller athlete, she's got the reach. She has the swing. So I think that's going to really help her in getting in the top three spot, especially when we're talking about that big grip gauntlet. I think she's going to be the experience of moving quickly through that stuff is going to help her out. Number two, I'm going with Megan Rowe. Coming off of making it to the first UNX major, she's a rock climber. She's so strong. And I think it really comes down to that grip gauntlet is the green monster in to the side fly, into those ledges. Uh, I think it's going to come down to who can hang on, who can be aggressive, and Megan has the grip strength to make it through that section of obstacles. I think it's going to put her in the second spot. And number one spot, I think this is no surprise to anybody, I'm going Jesse Lebrecht. I mean, you can't say enough about this woman. She's so strong. She's proven it so many different times why she should be the number one pick for a competition like this. And I think she's going to go out there and show us why she's my number one pick and Chris's number one pick. Um, but I think that's not really a big shocker there. And she's already qualified for the second major, so she's going in with no nerves as well. And what's so interesting, my picks versus your picks, is like younger athletes versus uh, more veteran athletes. Well, I got to say, I'm looking at this competition. I'm definitely a little biased. Every one of the athletes that oh, I yeah. chose. Yeah. <laughs> They're all at your gym, and two of them you coach. Yeah, it's a little biased there. Yeah, it's my fiance and two of the kids that I coach, but it's, it's because I see them every day. I see the work uh -huh. that they put in. And I'm biased, but that's who I'm going with. You think because that you train them and you train with them, they're just better than everybody else. I think they're better because <laughs> they put the work in. Not, as, not because I'm I train kidding, them. I'm it's kidding. all on them, not because of me. But at the same time, look at Maggie. Took fourth place at the UNX Major. She did, and she proved I mean, she belongs there for sure. And I'm going with a little bit more experience. Uh, Brittany Holter and Megan Rowe, you know, they're, they've been in the game a little bit longer. They've been on a ton of more courses. I think they've competed a lot more, especially on bigger stages. And I think they're going to take that opportunity to show – that experience level and that confidence on this course. You, they're they're going to put the kids in their place, huh? Yeah, big time. <laughs> I think so. Well, I think we saw at the first major the kids put everyone else in their place <laughs> except Barclay, and I think this time it's going to be it's going to be the experienced athletes going to be stepping up. Yeah, Barclay definitely holding it down right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, telling these kids that you know, not not to uh, not to get too cocky. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens this weekend. But for right now, we do want to take a sneak peek of the course. And somebody's run an electrifying athlete. We're going to take a look at Kyle Sobin's run right now. Three, two, one, ninja. Well.
Time. Left. Well, Kyle Soderman, he's looking pretty good. That top three pick is looking all right so far. <laughs> but it says, this is what I called. It all comes out of that last obstacle, I think. And if he can execute, obviously, he's going to finish the course. His tie, he's so fast. So, I mean, it's blazing fast. Yeah. I mean, he's always just such a fast competitor. And on a course like this, I think it's. I think we're going to see a good amount of finishers, and it'll come down to that last obstacle. I think, yeah, the last one. We'll see how hard that one actually is when we release all the results tomorrow in our qualifier highlight episode. But I mean, Kyle, this is what we expect out of Kyle. He's so confident, and he makes those moves because he attacks courses aggressively. I just. It's hope what that, I expected out yeah, of Kyle. Well, but I, not what you expected. <laughs> <laughs> I expected it too. Okay. <laughs> we'll just see what happens in the last obstacle tomorrow on UNXNow.com. You can see. Kyle, the rest of his run, and all the other athletes, and see who our six athletes going to the second major are. Yeah, and so until then, I'm Chris DeGangie. And I'm Ethan Swanson. We'll see you guys next time on UNX Fast Forward.